When an ace detective named Harry Goodman goes missing, his 21-year-old son Tim, played by Justice Smith, gets word of this, and upon arriving at his dad's apartment, discovers a Pikachu, who for some strange reason can actually talk to him, and for some even stranger reason, Tim is the only one who can actually understand him. And Pikachu is also a detective now. So now the two of them must work together if they are to find out what happened to Harry and solve this mystery! Jeez, I made this thing sound like an episode of Scooby-Doo. Okay, so confession number one. I am not a Pokemon fan. That's not to say I hate it, I actually really enjoyed a couple of the TV shows and even the anime movies I've watched are pretty good, but I haven't played any of the games. I don't know, Pokemon's just never really been my thing, you know? I was excited for this movie though, but I wasn't expecting anything great. I was sort of treating my expectations for this movie the same way I treated my expectations for Shazam. I was just expecting something that was fun and harmless and literally nothing more. Which leads me to confession number two. I wasn't all that impressed with Detective Pikachu. I've heard a lot of people say that this movie was really fun, cute, and that it's broken the video game movie curse. And I can't blame them. I totally understand why someone would enjoy this movie, especially if you're a Pokemon fan. But I didn't really like Detective Pikachu. It really didn't surprise or impress me all that much. I'm gonna start off by saying that the Pokemon are easily the best part of this movie. One of my biggest worries walking into this movie was that the Pokemon were just gonna look too cartoony to fit in this live action world, but I was so wrong. All the Pokemon looked great, amazing even. Their movements felt fluent and natural, and even the more cartoony looking ones felt like they were really there and not just pasted onto the screen. Choosing to stick to their original designs was a wise decision, not only because it feels more like the filmmakers knew what the fans wanted and basically gave it to them, but it also made this world feel more like the actual Pokemon world rather than just redesigning them to make them more realistic. Yeah, cause that totally always works. This movie does a fantastic job at making you want to live in this world. The world building is easily one of the strongest elements of this movie. I know most of my experience with Pokemon comes from watching the anime shows and the movies, but I honestly think that this is how the Pokemon would operate and interact with humans if they were real. Usually when a movie makes me want to live in the world that it features, then I know that they've definitely done something right. And Detective Pikachu did it right. Rhyme City felt real and lived in, and I love the idea of this huge city where humans and Pokemon coexist and work together. They did their best to make it actually make some sense, because you can see the practical application of every Pokemon in this city. They all have specific jobs, and it just made this world feel so much more real. Ryan Reynolds as Pikachu is without a doubt the best part of this movie. He has all the funniest moments in this movie. His line delivery is almost pitch perfect. There were some lines of dialogue that did have me thinking, Ryan, this isn't a Deadpool movie, stop it. Other than that, he was great. I was pretty disappointed that we didn't really get an insight as to how Pikachu actually thinks. Yeah, we get a pretty good idea of what his personality is like, as well as his likes and dislikes, but one of my favourite parts of most detective stories is when we actually get inside the detective's head and learn how he thinks and how he does things, but that almost never happens. A lot of his detective work pretty much boils down to making assumptions of things that have happened and trying to jog his memory because he has amnesia for some reason, and that's literally it. When the characters actually find information about the case, it's basically thrown on them by these holograms that are really just exposition machines, and it never felt like they were uncovering anything. I mean, you're literally called Detective Pikachu, and you can't even detect. Although, while Ryan Reynolds' performance was great, the same cannot be said for... <sighs> the humans. The acting from everyone that isn't a Pokemon is not good. Everyone was trying to give these really over-the-top performances, and while that would fit in with this world considering that's what the animes were going for, the actors were just trying way too hard, and as a result, their line delivery felt forced and unnatural, the conversations between the human characters didn't even have a natural rhythm to them, it just felt like the actors were just saying their lines. Justice Smith is the worst part of this movie. He didn't give the worst performance, trust me, everyone except Reynolds is pretty much equally bad in this movie, but Tim's character arc wasn't even that interesting, mainly because the writing for this character sucks. They lay the groundwork for a potentially really interesting character arc, but the movie executes it so poorly that his characterization feels rushed and inconsistent. He also spends a lot of the movie just whining and complaining, which got super annoying very quickly, and the worst part of his character is that a lot of the time he just does not care. He does not give a shit, 
And that kind of made me not give a shit about him because it made him come across as an unlikable guy. He does start caring a little bit when he meets this news intern played by Catherine Newton who's interested in the story of this missing detective. And he's just like, oh, she's cute, now I want to be on this mission. And Pikachu's just like, ugh. And there is some pretty good humour in that situation, most of which comes from Pikachu, as you can imagine. But whenever the movie cut to any of the human characters, I just thought, ugh, you guys are so underwritten and unlikable and annoying, just, just go back to the Pokemon, please. Whenever the movie tried to tug at the heartstrings even slightly, I didn't really care, because... I didn't like anybody in this movie except for maybe Pikachu. This movie just speeds by, just like that, and because of that most of the other characters get next to no character development, and there are even parts of the actual mystery itself that just don't make sense because of it. Even the powers of the Pokemon aren't explained that well because of it. For example, there's this Pokemon called Mewtwo who looks awesome. It is an incredible design, but they do not explain this thing's powers well at all. One minute he can do this, but then he can't do that, but then boom, next thing you know, he can do something that was clearly established as something he couldn't do. It might have made sense if they had actually taken time to properly explain it, but this movie is so fast paced that it basically forgets to explain things properly. The movie will give an explanation as to how and why Pikachu can talk, but then the movie will do something that contradicts that explanation. Ironically, despite the movie's fast pace, there are a lot of moments, especially in the first 20 minutes, that felt really slow and I was just bored out of my mind. The first 20 minutes of the movie are actually pretty depressing compared to the rest of this movie, and when the tone actually switches to the light-hearted tone that it maintains for the rest of the movie, it feels so abrupt that it feels like a completely different movie. The editing at points was really lazy and other times it just cut between shots so rapidly it was hard to see what was even going on. There was also a moment where Pikachu loses his hat and Pikachu even says, where's my hat? Cut to the next shot, and boom! He's got his hat back. It just reappears. The Pokemon battle scenes were really fun. The action sequences where we got to see the Pokemon fight and use their abilities were really cool. The action sequences with Pikachu especially were really well executed, and I had a lot of fun with those scenes, but there just wasn't enough of them. There are a grand total of three Pokemon battles in this movie, one of which only lasts three seconds. The moments in this movie where we actually got to see the Pokemon battle each other and even people catching Pokemon were the moments that grabbed me the most. But as you may have guessed by my use of the word moments, that very rarely happens in this movie. Instead, we're left with Ryan Reynolds trying his absolute best to make this movie work, while at the same time trying to interact with human characters that are the cinematic equivalent of washing dishes with earbuds. In short, the Pokemon were the best part of this movie, the world building was excellent and Ryan Reynolds killed it, but the human characters were flat and boring, the plot felt lazy, underwritten, and slightly convoluted, and the pacing was terrible. There are some funny jokes and there are some cool scenes, but on the whole, while this definitely isn't the worst video game movie I've ever seen, I definitely don't think it's broken the video game movie curse. If they decide to make more of these, I think they should focus more on catching Pokemon and tournament battles, because for me, the moments in Detective Pikachu where we actually got to see elements of that were almost the movie I wanted. If you enjoyed this movie, that's great, I'm happy for you, but for me, Pokemon Detective Pikachu was pretty disappointing and I'm going to give it a 4 out of 10. So those are my thoughts on Pokemon Detective Pikachu. I do hope you enjoyed this video guys, thank you for watching, please don't forget to like, subscribe and follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter, I'm not forcing you if you don't want to. Also if you can hear strange licking sound in the background, I'm not sure if you can, but that's my cat giving herself a bath, thank you for that. Anyway, uh, before I go, I'd just like to ask you guys, what did you think of this movie? Did you think it was good? Did you think it was bad? Did you think it was somewhere in the middle? Please leave your thoughts down in the comments below, and I will indeed see you guys in the next one. Until next time, see you around.